our topic for today is simultaneous linear equations by using elimination method. That's the topic we want to consider this morning. As we all know that we have three ways of solving simultaneous equations, either by graphical method, substitution method, and elimination method. So I want to look at elimination method this morning. Let's take these examples. We are to solve the following simultaneous linear equations by using elimination method. By using elimination method. Example number one. 3x minus 4y equals to 2. This one is our equation 1. And second question, equation says 4x minus 4y to be equals to minus 3. This one is 3x minus 4y equals to minus 2. This one also says 4x minus 4y equals to minus 3. This is equation 2. As we all know, we have two rules that will make this method to work. Number one, is it that we eliminate this one or we eliminate this one? If anyone wants to eliminate, rather, two things. Number one, the sign of the number one to eliminate must be opposite each other. That is, one must be plus, the other one must be addition, uh, subtraction. While the number must be the same. If the numbers are not the same, we have to ensure that we make the number to be the same. These are the two rules. Let me come again. The two rules says the sign of the number you want to eliminate must be opposite each other. That is, one should be positive, the other one should be negative. The second rule says that the number you want to eliminate must be the same. If they are not the same, we ensure that we make the two numbers to be the same. But with these questions, the first rule has been met. That is, we can eliminate this one. I'm having 4y here, 4y here. This is the first rule that has been met. We can do this one. But the signs are the same. And we said, the rule says, the sign must be opposite each other. Since the sign are the same here, yeah, we make one to be negative, we make the other one to be positive. And how do we do that? It means that, let's say we multiply this one by minus one. We now multiply the other one by one. So that this negative can cancel this one to give us plus. That means minus 1 times 3x will give us minus 3x. Minus times this minus will give us plus 4y. Minus times minus will give us to be equals to 2. Because minus times minus will give us plus. 1 times this one, this one gives us 4x minus 4y equals to minus 3. So on that note, this is plus 4, this is minus 4. Don't forget the two rules. The number you want to eliminate, they must be the same. This is 4y, 4y, they are the same. Why their sign must be opposite each other. The sign, they are now opposite. So we can eliminate this one. This is plus 4y, minus 4y. They can go. This one gives us a 0. And this one here, when we take away 3x from 4x, this one will give us 1x, which is ordinary x, to be cause of taking away 2 out of minus 3 will give us minus 1. Therefore, x equals to uh, minus 1. But we need to get the value for y also. How do we get the value for y? On this note, we can make use of any of the equation. That is, you can make use of equation 1, and that person can make use of equation 2. Let's say I want to make use of equation 1 now. For equation 1 says 3x minus 4y equals to minus 2. 3x minus 4y, 3x minus 4y equals to minus 2. This is our equation 1. If this one is our equation 1, we know the value of x to be equals to minus 1. Let's just substitute the value of x to wherever we see x, which is equals to 1. That is, substitute x equals to minus 1 into 
equation one. This equation one will now change to three into minus one because the value of x is minus one. Minus four y equals to minus two. Minus one multiplied by three here, it gives us minus three. We are now having minus three minus four y equals to minus two. At this point, we will now collect the like terms. That is, we can take this one to this place by collecting the like terms. This one will now give us minus 4y to be equal to minus 2. This one, as it's coming to this place after equal sign, it's changed to plus, plus 3. That is minus 4y to be equal to 1. We are looking for y. What I'm going to do, we will now divide both sides by the coefficient of y, which is minus 4. That is minus 4y divided by minus 4 equals to 1 over minus 4. This minus will go, 4 will go. The y now, therefore, y equals to minus 1 over 4. x equals to minus 1. That's by using equation 1. Another person might be using equation 2. Equation 2 says 4x minus 4y. That's 4x minus 4y equals to minus 3. This is equation 2. Don't forget our x equals to minus 1. We cannot substitute to this because another person will be using equation 2. That's why I want to solve it by using equation 2 also. That is 4 into minus 1 minus 4y equals to minus 3. Minus times this one will give us minus 4 minus 4y equals to minus 3. The way we collect the like time, taking this one to this place, that is, I'm left with this minus 4y equals to minus 3 plus 4. Minus 4y equals to this one. No, this is plus 4. Take away minus 3 out of plus, it will give me 1. We divide by minus 4 by minus 4. This one will also go. Therefore, y equals to minus 1 over 4. That is, when I use equation 1 or 2, we are going to arrive at the same answer. The conclusion is, therefore, x equals to minus 1, y equals to minus 1 over 4. So, this is example number 1. Let's take another example, which is going to be our example number 2. Example number 2. And the question says, 4x minus 3y to be equals 59. This is our equation 1. While equation 2 says 5x plus 11y to be equal to 0. This is equation 2. I would like us to look at this question very well. The two rules, there's no one that is being made here. Now what we're going to do now is this. The other time we eliminated the one at the middle. Let's eliminate this one here now. But now, this is plus plus. We said the sign must be opposite each other. One should be plus, one should be negative. And at the same time, the number should be the same. What are we going to do? Let's interchange this number. That is, we interchange the number by taking 5 to equation 1, bringing 4 to equation 2, and their sign. Since this one is plus 4, this one is plus 5, let's take this one to this place to give us 5, this one to this place. That is, let's multiply this one by 1, this one by minus 1, for the sign, and at the same time, we multiply by 5, we multiply this one by 4. We are changing them. This 4 is coming down. This 5 is going up there. So 5 times 1 will give me 5. 5 times 4 will now give us 20x minus 5 times 3y will give us 15y equals to 5 times 59. Let's do it like this. 59 multiplied by 5. 5 times this will give us 45. We are having 5. Keeping 4. 5 times 5 will give us 25 plus 4, 29. So this one gives us 2, 9, 5. The second one, minus 4 multiplied by this will give us minus 20x. Minus 4 multiplied this will give us plus 11y. No, no, this is minus. It's going to give us minus 11y to be equal to minus 4 multiplied by this one to give us is 0. The two rules, one, the number I want to eliminate must be the same. 20, 20, x, they are the same. That is the first rule. The second rule, 
this one is plus, this one is minus. So the two rules have been met here. So this one will go. This one will go. Sorry, four times this one give us minus forty-four, please. Minus forty-four. Now let's now subtract them. Minus fifteen, minus forty-four. This one will give us minus fifty-nine y to be equal to two nine five. Two nine five. Now on this note, when we look at it now, we have to divide both sides by minus fifty-nine. That is, I'm having minus fifty-nine here, minus fifty-nine. This one will go. The negative will go. How many fifty-nine can we get here? When we look at it in that way, when we say fifty-nine, that's two nine five. Let's divide by fifty-nine. What number can go? Let's do it in primary school division. By having it in this format, we have it as 59. How many 59 we can get here? It's still long. So, probably let's pick them one after the other. If I this by this, this number is big compared to this. And we look at this, the factors of 59 might be difficult for us to get this. So, what I'm going to suggest is that let's be picking some number one after the other to multiply this. Let's say we 59 multiplied by 4. 4 times 9 will give us 36. Keeping 3. 4 times 5 will give us 20 plus this. 236 is now up to this number. Let's pick another number. 59 multiplied by 5. 5 times 9 will give us 45. We are keeping 4. 5 times 5, 25 plus 4, 29. So definitely 59 in this number will give us 5. This times this will give us 295. So, and we should not forget it is minus z. So, this one will go, this one will go. Therefore, y to be equal to minus 5. That's the value of y there. On that note, let me say I want to substitute the value of y into equation either equation 1 or equation 2. Let me pick equation 2 this time around. Equation 2. Equation 2 says 5x. Plus 11y equal to 0. Don't forget that y to be equal to minus 5. So this, this is equation 2. Whenever I see y here, I'm going to put minus 5. That is 5x plus 11 into minus 5 to be equal to 0. So this one give us 5x minus 5 times this will give us minus 55 to be equal to 0. Now, let's take this one to this place by collecting the like term. That is, 5x to be equal to 0 plus 55. This is minus. By the time we get to this place, it becomes plus. 5x to be equal to 55. We divide both sides by a coefficient of x, which is 5. This one will go. 5 here, 1. 5 in 55 will give us 11. Therefore, x equals to 11. y equals to minus 5. We can check our answer. Maybe these values are correct. That is, by the time I'm putting 11 here on this equation, that's 5 multiplied by 11. Let's say 5, 11 plus uh, y, which is 11 into minus 5. The equation says it's equal to 0. Is it true? 5 times 11 will give me 55. Minus 5 times 11 will give us minus 55. Definitely will give us 0. This one is very correct. And on equation 1, equation 1 says... I want us to check the values. Equation 1 says 4x minus 3y equal to 59. Is it true? The value of x is 11. That's 4 into 11 minus 3 into minus 5. Will it give us 59? Let's check. 4 multiplied by 11 will give us 44. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 5 will give us plus 15 equal to 59. So it is very correct. So the x equals to 11. Y equals minus 5. Let me give another example, which that's where we're going to stop this morning. Example number 3. Example number 3, it says 3x plus 2y to be equal to 12. The other one says 5x minus 3y equals to 1. This one is equation 1. This one is equation 2. Now, let's eliminate this one in the middle. One, the first rule, the sign must be opposite each other. We're having it here. Yeah? 
but the numbers are not the same. We have to make the number to be the same. And how do we make the number to, to be the same? Let's say change this one. This three will come up, two will now come down here. That is multiply this one by three, multiply this one by two. Three multiply by three x will give us nine x. Three multiply by two y plus six y equal to three multiply by twelve will give us thirty six. Two multiply by five will give us ten x. Two multiply by minus three will give us minus six y to be equals to two. So this one will go. We have this one. Nine x plus ten x will give us nineteen x to be equals to two and thirty six will give us thirty eight. We divide by the coefficient of x, which is 19 here, divide by 19 here. This one will go. Therefore, x equals to 2. We have the value of x equals to 2. Now, let's substitute this one to either equation 1 or equation 2. I will use the two equations here also. We should not forget our x to be equals to 2. Now, let's have it in this way. Let's have it in this way. On equation 1, equation 1 says... 3x plus 2y to be equal to 12. Equation 2 says 5x minus 3y to be equal to 1. So, on this note, equation 1, the value is 2. That's 3 into 2 plus 2y to be equal to 12. 3 multiplied by 2 will give us 6. 6 plus 2y to be equal to 12. Let's collect the like time by taking 12, I mean 6 to this place it was plus here by the time you get to place place it become minus that is 2y equals 12 minus 6 2y equals to 6 we divide by coefficient which is 2 2 therefore y equals to 3 let's check maybe it's going to give us 3 here also the value is the value of x equals to 2 that's 5 into 2 minus 3y equals to 1 5 multiplied by 2 will give us 10 minus 3y equals to 1. We have to take 10 to this place by collecting like terms. That is minus 3y equals to 1 minus 10. It was plus 10. By the time you get over equal sign, it now becomes uh, minus 10. Minus 3y equals to take away 1 out of 10 will give us minus 9. We divide by minus 3, minus 3. This one will go, this one will go. Minus will go 3 here 1, 3 here 3. Therefore, x equals to 2, x equals to 2, and y equals to 3. So, this is where we are going to stop with the example. But before we we'll close for the day, let me give us assignments. Assignments for the day. We have to use elimination method to solve the following simultaneous linear equation. Using elimination method, number one says 5a minus 2b to be equals 14, to be equals 14. The other one says 2a plus 2b to be equal to 14 also. That's question number one. Question number two says 2x plus 5y to be equal to 0. And we have 3x minus 2y to be equal to 19. And let's uh, add another one to read. It's going to be question number 3. 2p minus 5q to be equal to 8. And 3p minus 7q to be equals 11. So these are the questions for the assignments. These are going to stop for the day. Thank you, students. Have a nice day.